With the unfolding of the housing and humanitarian crisis at Duga, the political blame game has begun. Housing Minister Richard Frederick places the responsibility for the current crisis squarely at the feet of the former Prime Minister and Member of Parliament for Miku South, Alan Chastney. Frederick says the then Prime Minister Alan Chastney should have had the government purchase the disputed property and arrived at terms with the occupants of the land. From all indications, they had gone to the rep, the ex-Prime Minister, who in my view could have done something to avoid the situation which recently transpired, but he did absolutely nothing. What he ought to have done was to acquire the land and regularize the occupation by those persons. Today, 30 families, including children, are homeless. And I mean, this is a situation that requires urgent attention. And I'm sure that from a governmental standpoint, whatever we as a government can do to assist those people, we will. But had the ex-Prime Minister done what he had to do, had he expressed the, the uh, issue of humanity by the acquisition of that property and regularization of the of the occupation, I don't think we would have been confronted with such a situation today. This is one of the largest court order demolition in St. Lucia. Scores of residents, some of whom have lived on the land for more than 80 years, have had their houses broken down and their possessions placed at the mercy of the elements. The housing minister says this all weighs heavily on the heart. It's a really sad state of affairs for all those families who live in Diga in uh, Miku South, the constituency of the ex-Prime Minister. This matter, from all indications, had been before the court for over 10 years, over 10 years, and persons that build their houses, wall and wooden, invariably believing that they had an ancestral right to occupy. Sadly, the court found otherwise. News Force on Monday sought to contact the former Prime Minister and Member of Parliament for Miku South, Alan Chastney, about the crisis in Duga, but did not get a response. Stanley Lucien for the HS News Force.